I want to show you why you should never compare two floating point numbers for equality. So like, for example, if you want to check if x is y and both x and y are floating point numbers, why you should never just use equals equals to see if they're the same value. Okay, so here we've got a little example program. Um, so I'm going to read x as a floating point number from the command line. So argv1 is the first number I type in on the command line. And we'll talk more about that later. Then y is going to be x divided by 3 plus 2.5. Um, so just doing simple arithmetic here. x divided by 3 plus 2.5. And then we're going to reverse those to compute z. So if we take y um, multiplied by 3 and then subtract 7.5 um, because we're flipping the order around. And so that should give us x back. Um, and so if z equals x, we're going to just print out it's equal. And otherwise, we're going to print this surprise message uh, showing what the value is and what, um, or what it should have been and what we actually got. OK, so let's go ahead and compile this. So GCC float compare dot c. OK, and we can do float compare, uh, say, 3. And they're equal. Uh, we can try it again with 5. Um, and suddenly we get this surprise. So the value that was computed, um, that, or that we, that we started with, was 5. Um, but after we compute y and then compute z from y, what actually we get as the result is 4.999995 and some change. Um, and it, so although they're very, very close, uh, in fact, if you subtract the two, you get basically 0 out to 6 decimal places, they're not the same. So algebraically, they're the same. But because of, inter um, because of floating point rounding that's happening, uh, they're not actually the same. Let's pick a few more just for fun. Um, so 6 works out just fine. Um, but 7 doesn't work. Um, and we could try 10 uh, works. Um, 11 happens to work. So you might have thought, well, like maybe it's just prime numbers or something. Um, but no, it's, it's much more complicated than that. Um, and we could keep going. Um, but the point is that some of these values are going to work and some of them are not. So unless you enjoy putting bugs in code um, that are very hard to track down and appear to happen semi-randomly, don't ever compare floating point numbers uh, for equality this way. Okay, so how, how would you do it? What's the right way to do it? So instead of saying if z equals x, um, we could say uh, so if um, z is very close to x. So we could say z minus x. And we want to say, like, is the absolute value of z minus x um, very small? So like less than 0 0.0001. Um, and that says if. If those numbers are very close to each other, then we're going to consider them equal. Um, let's go ahead and try this. Um, and now let's go ahead and redo this with the things uh, that broke. So let's just do three, just to make sure that things are still working. Um, and go back and try five. And now it says they are equal, um, because the difference is less than uh, this value that we put in here.